Hey there, I'm Dallas James. I am the director and producer of the movie that I've been wanting to make for 20 years. I am so excited to bring it to you. We are here at Lionsgate Studios, who is bringing the film to you in theaters all over the country with... Judy Rear, I play Grace. And Pete Holmes, I play Dad Bob. Dad Bob. Are we excited? Are you excited for them? Super excited. So glad you're here in the theater to see it the way we wanted you to see it. Yes. We're very proud of this movie. Dallas wanted to make it for two decades, which is a little sad, but here it is. <laughs> yes, it's the classic book that's been around for a long time, and we are now making it as a full-length feature film, and we are so glad you're here for the early access screening. That means that you wanted to see it before anyone else, so we appreciate your selfishness. To make such a little book <laughs> into a movie, we had to add a, add a whole spy espionage thing. You're going to love it. There's no spy. Jeez, kind of like a no Jason Bourne espionage. There are spy. some stunts. There's some stunting. There's some stunty things, yeah. Yeah, but this is a Christmas movie that we are very proud of and eager for you to see. Yes. And so because you're here early, you got a chance to see some extra stuff that no one else is going to see. We've got behind the scenes of Blake Shelton, who performed an original song just for this movie. You're going to get a sneak peek of my show, The Chosen, and you're going to get to hear us talk about the best Christmas pageant ever. Give me some behind the scenes looks and some insider info. So thank you for being here and enjoy the show. Do I say that it's the best sneak peek ever? I could. That would be perfect. Yeah. I think I should, it. should do a take where you say that. <laughs> Enjoy the espionage. There is no espionage. This version, there is. No, there's going to be some you spy stuff. You are seeing a very special early version, but it's the same version that everyone will see in the theaters, but only next weekend. So you're seeing it a week early. This was great. So I had read the book. I've been wanting to make this movie for 20 years. And so I was really passionate about it. And I had people in my mind, like pictures in my mind of like faces and people who could inhabit these characters. They were unavailable. Yeah. <laughs> and so 17th choices later. Yes. But uh, yes. I, I, wanna, I was reminded of the notes that I sent you. Oh, yeah. When I was inviting, when I sent you the script and was inviting you to be in it. And so this is Judy's. I'm not going to read the entire thing. But I said, hi, I'd like to offer you the role of Grace the mother who unwittingly ends up directing the play. I've been a big fan of yours for a while. Red butter. Yeah. I have You have a unique combination of strength and vulnerability, and your sense of humor is essential for this film. I hope you agree this script isn't a standard family Christmas film. I intend to be witty and whimsical and unexpectedly sharp. That's you. Me. It won me over. I also still have a copy of that letter. Ooh. And uh, yeah, of course. And uh, it's in. It did the job, I'm not gonna lie. Really? A personalized note like that really yeah. did make a difference. It really did. And you sent a voice, uh, a video. You texted yes. me a video. That was yeah. I sent you a video and a note. And my, get a video? Oh, my notes to you said, uh, Dear George, know. Dear Mr. Clooney. I said, Wait, <laughs> that's, the, that's the wrong one. Hi there, Pete, I'm Dallas, I introduced myself. I really, uh, this is the thing, second paragraph, I really want you in this movie. Let me explain. Aww. Aww. Yeah. That's, a, that's nice. And I said, I, I'd like to offer you the role of Bob, the father of the main family in the story. Good name. While this isn't the main character, it's vital to the heart, spirit, humor, and pathos of the story. I think you're perfect for it. He was a real tentpole. It meant a lot that you made, that you wrote that note. And it actually, dare I say, felt kind of Christmassy. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the whole set and even the way that we came into the movie, and then reading the script, and I, I don't, Judy has a cold, cold Grinch-style heart, but I cried when I read the script. <laughs> so what was the part, you, without giving a big spoiler, when, when were you reading the script and thought, I think I want to do this movie? For me, it was the scene where I'm sitting on uh, my daughter's bed, and I really like that heart-to-heart, -heart. And, and growing up in the church and understanding the reference and thinking that it was really on point. And also, then we spoke about how I really think it, it captures the, the, I don't know how else to say it, but the gospel, it kind of captures that flavor of, of love and generosity. Judy, when you first read the script, what, when during it did you think, this might be something I'm interested in? How you adapted the book really like tonally gave me Christmas story vibes. Sure. And that's one of, I mean, we can all agree that's a Christmas classic. And I felt like this was, I just, I really liked the tone in the script. That was what won me over. Was born for the hurt as much as he was for us. We 
be missing the point of all of it if I turn them away. But what if they ruin it for you? They probably will. One of the partners who makes a movie like this possible is Operation Christmas Child. They're a ministry of Samaritan's Purse. They need your help. So if you want to pack a shoebox that's going to get to someone in need, please check out SamaritansPurse.org slash OCC. Packing week and shipping week and getting it out to all these kids is November 18th to 25th. So please help them and help kids because you are going to do an extraordinary thing along with this movie, hopefully, this year. We heard that the Hurtmans took over the pageant. We want to see if anything crazy is going to happen, or if they're going to burn the church down. This is the exciting part. I'm going to turn just a little bit in this direction, like you're looking out at the lights, you know, and then back to the baby. Yeah. Yeah. On the day, by the way. <laughs> The Herdman's a really key family in this movie. You have one direction, please. Just see. Ask the Hendermans yet. So at the end of the best Christmas imagine ever, which hopefully you've heard of because you're here, <laughs> there is the song from Blake Shelton, an original version of the Christmas classic Go Tell It on the Mountain. You've heard the song. Yes. Yep. It's Great, amazing. right? It's like it's I was like clapping amazing. when I was and not repeat, that's a frozen smile. <laughs> I just didn't know when to interject. Pretend Judy's, to love it. Judy's doing, she's a lot of like... The camera's on all of us, you can talk whatever you want. Yeah, I'd like a single. If I could get a single, no. But anyway. You know who is getting a single is Blake Shelton, and you're going to yeah. see it right now behind the scenes, him recording the song that you're going to see at the end of the movie, and it's a beautiful version of it. I'm going to say my favorite version of the song now. It's absolutely my favorite version. Enjoy. What's your second favorite version? I guess when I heard my mom sing it, it was too. <laughs> Anybody coming to see this movie, a, a huge fan of Christmas for tons of reasons. But as a musician, I've always been a sucker for Christmas music. And I'm one of those people that when it's Thanksgiving Day, I'm ready to start hearing the music that night, right up through New Year's Eve even. I just never get sick of it. I, I love it so much. And so when the opportunity came up through Dallas to get a chance to work on this project, I jumped at it because uh, I'm a huge fan of, of Dallas Jenkins and, and his work. I'm a huge fan of Christmas movies. I'm a sucker for them. And this is just something that I felt like worked perfectly for, for who I am and, and what I do. Some of my favorite Christmas memories are from when I was a kid and, and just the magic of Christmas. But more recently, I've made memories that are very special to me too. You know, we have three sons, and so to be able to experience Christmas through your children brings all that back again and, and the magic of it. But now uh, it's different for me to experience Christmas and knowing what the true meaning of, of Christmas is and where it came from and, and what it's all about. So yeah, I just have a completely renewed excitement for Christmas. So pretty soon you're going to get a chance to see the best Christmas pageant ever, hopefully the reason that you're here, but I know that for some of you, another reason you're here is to get a glimpse of season five of 
The Chosen, the show that I have been filming this year for a long time, and I'm still editing season five, but I grabbed an excerpt from one of the episodes, and it's a couple minutes long, and we decided we would get to show it to you months and months before the season comes out, and no one else is going to see this clip besides you today. So, thank you so much for showing up today, and this is the reward we have for you if you happen to be a Chosen fan. And if you're not, well, maybe this is a good opportunity for you to go catch up and watch it, because I actually think it's pretty good. But this clip is from an episode of season five, and it's rough, meaning we haven't done color correction, we haven't done sound correction, we haven't done visual effects yet or anything like that. There's no music just yet, but this is a clip that will give you an example of what this season is going to be about. And so you get a chance to check that out right now. So we are now sitting in a movie theater because you are sitting in a movie theater and we so appreciate that. Why, yes. Judy? When we make these movies for you, we make them to be seen in the theater. They sound best in a theater, they look best in a theater, and you get to be surrounded by friends and family, or at least strangers that are excited to see the same movie yes. that you are seeing. Cause... Laugh and cry together. Yeah, so thank you for coming to the theater. And feel free to come back next weekend for opening weekend with your friends and family. Because that's what Christmas is all about, gathering. You yes. have that? Gathering. Yeah, anyway. With real human people, other beating hearts, facing the same direction, enjoying the same thing. It's a little community. We're glad you're doing it right. Please spread the word about this movie and please encourage others to go see. We need a good opening weekend so it can last throughout the holiday season and become a new holiday classic. If you don't love the movie, you don't need to say anything at all. But if you do like it, please spread the word. Thank you so much and enjoy the best Christmas pageant ever, which starts now. 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 It starts now. now. You shouldn't be seeing us anymore. You should have been removed from the screen. Now. Now.